Welcome YouTubers! This is the final reincarnation, <clears throat> at least for now, of my Newman Motor series. This is what we have here. The latest version, 70 by 40 mil magnets. And some very large electromagnets. This one's exactly twice the scale of my previous ones. I've tried high resistance and low resistance coils, a great myriad of combinations to try and home in on exactly what the perfect recipe is um, with the purpose of powering your home. Uh, a motor that will sit there and produce electricity constantly, free of charge. The question is, can you make one that's practical? And um, after 10 or so videos, I've decided no, I'm sorry, you, you can't make one that's practical. I've demonstrated extremely high efficiencies, very high, um, much better than a conventional motor, um, i.e. marginally over 100% and in some instances as much as 4 or 500% efficient, but, um, but there is a really small window uh, in which that occurs, uh, much like various other more practical free energy machines I've come up with like my linear motor which has a greater margin for efficiency um, now my plans for the largest model um, not this one my plans for my <coughs> 250 millimeter magnets as opposed to the 70 millimeter magnets here the much larger version will not come into manifestation. I am going to sell off those magnets and I won't be making a follow-up video um, largely because I've done some calculations and on the back of a napkin um, is, is uh, clear enough to demonstrate to me that to have a machine powering your home this Newman machine it would need to be the size of a trailer and you would probably need a double axle trailer in order to support the weight of the magnets and the copper. It is not a practical proposition. Um, I've made a lot of them because some of them have shown a great deal of promise and I've been homing in on uh, the best um, resistances and masses and rules and guidelines by which to make them um, and there is only one that stands true universally which is size. You want as big as possible. Um, now there are a lot of other things that matter. Getting the resistance right, uh, the balance between having a large enough magnetic field and uh, sufficient power going through there to actually produce some torque on it. Um, and in my previous videos I've listed some pretty good recipes in order to make one that works. And I've driven heavy generators with it, I've driven fans with it, uh, previous versions. Now, I won't be driving home with it. I set off looking for a machine that will provide power to my home, power for enough for an air conditioning unit specifically, um, and something like this desk size. I think the best you could do is an output power of maybe 20 watts, 20 to 50 watts. Washing machine size, you might get 100. 100 to 200 watts, absolute maximum. But uh, for, for a washing machine size one, you're looking at 500 kilos, and uh, at least three or four thousand dollars, and it just doesn't add up for the power output. It's just not a practical proposition. So I've got other projects I will be getting on with. Uh, some gyroscopic uh, assisted generator, which is. Um, very crude, very simple, uh, viciously violent in its motion, but um, it will produce a lot of power for a small quantity of money. So it's one thing to be interested in the free energy field. I've built an awful lot of machines over the years and I feel like I've learnt a great deal from it, but, uh, but finding a practical solution to the problem uh, keeps men busy for thousands of years. Um, and even with the advent of the internet, that is unchanged. However, I've had a lot more success than most have, uh, and I humbly thank all my viewers and uh, fellow YouTube community for that. So, the next one, 
will be uh, extracting energy from gyroscopic potential flywheels I've had a go at this before um, but now I know exactly what I'm doing and I've got a recipe for success so I'm going to continue on with other builds thanks for sticking with me this one's fun this one's going to be a lot of fun so yeah hope you enjoy the ride stick with it thank you very much